greetings as promised Minnesota Minnesota part two there were a number of interesting photos to go through but it gets to be a little repetitive I don't know if it's interesting for you guys for me to go through photos that are showing the same types of things that we've seen So, okay, I, as promised, I said I would show this. Uh, I think I went through some of these. There has to be some really interesting stuff here. Okay, we've got Niller Skies. Look at that Niller Sky, boy. I mean, it could be legit. And there are these... Like, uh, well, whatever, you know, um, Bromley, Bromley's, uh, agent, wagon wheels, yep, and then those people, like, look, they don't have a chair to sit on, they don't have a pot to piss in, oh, actually, there is, there's a pot to piss in, oops, there's a pot to piss in, but they don't have squat, man, they, <laughs> these, these people are showing up, and yeah oh they're coming these people are coming so they got to build this stuff and look oh well me lady how do you fancy stairs I fancy stairs do you now I do say when I build the Winslow house in 1856 I'm going to build it in Minneapolis vicinity and have it photographed by Edward A. Bromley in 34 years. Well, look at this stuff. I, oops. Oh, cool. That's cool. Can zoom in like that. Uh, see that? Those are like the papers they stick to those things look at how high up that dude is man uh, so they you know this thing's been around it's been abandoned you know foreclosure old old world civilization being offed buried in mud we foreclosed on your home you're not making the payments because you died in <laughs> and uh, do attack or mud burial or whatever it's broken window yeah that's when you're settling an area and this is the nicest house in the region surely you're gonna bust them windows and just leave it abandoned yeah this stuff give me a break what is this window doing down there how creepy creepy dealers Beale estate is that like real estate yeah very odd niller skies for let's look at this niller sky boy yeah that's a good crop job there man dealers Beale estate now i guess it does say real estate kind of looks B Cal <laughs> Phony baloney. Look at that. Oh man. Can you tell how they put the Niller skies in? Block out the tall structures back there. I do declare. Oop. Messed up there, dudes. Oh, hey. What is this? Oh, okay. That guy's sitting. I thought he was standing. Top hat. Sir Topham Hat. Thomas, you have caused confusion and delay. What's going on with this tree? And people driving cars around there or something? I do declare. A lot of people do declare bankruptcy nowadays because the pretend has shut down the economy.
Okay, so uh, here again, now this may be like a cattle yard type thing with the fences, but here you have your classic mud flood. Be where are the trees? A. B. It's muddy. It's very muddy. Extremely muddy. And, okay, in the foreground, of course, they have these lean-to shanty ain't worth a plum nickel. There's ye olde ladder lean. Now, why would you have ye olde ladder lean? Well, it's... Look how trashed up this. You build something new because you settle the area. I mean, that, that real estate's prime. Just think, you're settling in an area... This is like a new neighborhood. You're going to have new homes, and they're going to be well-kept. All this stuff's so buried up. They dig dig out the area around it to kind of grade away from it, but then it kind of pools in the mud. Boy, they got their fences, though. Boy, I tell you what. Their old ox carts and things. What is going on? Like, is this house way up on a pile of mud or what? Dern tootin'. Wow, wow. Now, the reason the trees aren't there is if you know anything about trees, you know that uh, if you put dirt up around the trunk, that does kill them or kill them back. Kill them all. Yeah, you can't suffocate a tree. If you put dirt up around it, it suffocates it. Yeah, these homes, they're not really the real deal. They're built kind of on top of the mud. Uh, these foundations are a joke. That's a joke there, man. That foundation. Give me a boot rake. And then this horrible... Okay, do you think the same person who built and painted that and everything built that? I don't know. I just don't know. There's an outhouse... It's going off the roof. Damage. Hmm. And then the steps going up. Like, where's the first level? Like, let's just let's just have our entrance be just like a second story window. That yeah, makes sense. Make sure it's really high above the ground, so it's hard to get to you. And then these fences. Yeah, yeah. They're getting some drainage in there. They just have timbers laying around because they're reclaimed it's reclaimed it's you'd think of of all times where you'd have new timbers i don't think it was necessarily new in a lot of cases it's reclaimed especially the bricks and for that reason you have a lumber yard and you have a timber yard but think of that they have uh, train yards to me the word yard is it's kind of Reminiscent or calls to mind storage of something. Dog sled. Barely enough snow for that. What is this? Photo op? Oh, interesting. Fountain cave. Yeah, oh, there's a person in there. Hello. Hello, look out for that snake. Oh, it's a branch. It's a branch. Don't worry. But yeah, somebody done melted this cave. I do declare. Why, it almost looks like it's a melted technology. They're air pockets from whatever. Yeah, kicks me out. Okay, where were we? We were at the cave. Oh, look at this nonsense. These people live in that shed? Hmm, maybe. Maybe. How can they dress like that? I know it's Minnesota, you think of it as cold, but in the summertime, it gets rightfully hot, I do declare. I don't know why I'm doing like kind of a southern draw, but it's more like Minnesota. Because they're from, from Norway or Finland or Sweden or something like that. Norsk, Nort. We have been settled here by the military. 
Yep. Men with facial hair and stern visages protect you from the engines who are missing. Missing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here they are, marching. What shall we do, sir? You are going to march up and down the yard. And by marching, you will protect the area from the enemy. That's very important, sir. Oh, we're going to build up a thing, raise a flag. March in formation to impress the men with top hats. To scare the engines away and have a grand old time with music by John Philip Sousa. And then we can use the same wooden platform for boxing matches, square dances, and hang-ins. I do think that there are some nefarious elements around here that need to be hanged. Wouldn't it be hung, sir? No, it's hanged. Here's an old new house. Never mind the oldness of it. Please appreciate the newness of it. And our military folk are gathered with the men in top hats. They are duly impressed by our shenanigans because the engines are missing. Here we have a relocation camp of some sort. Okay, I'm going to say it. Uh, let's see. In, oh, there it tells you. Engines corralled Fort Snelling. 1862, early photograph of Minneapolis. Well, okay, so now we know why they lived in teepees, because that's what they were given when they were corralled out of their homes, maybe. I'm curious. If you are of Native American origin first of all i want to clarify not apologize but clarify because i'm i'm not disrespecting you at all i'm disrespecting people who disrespect you i'm mocking people who disrespect you first of all when i refer to you as engines okay and uh hopefully hopefully you understand it second of all i want to thank many of you for the comments that you've left about the other videos um, about things but I do I do want to ask you if any of you have had or have heard or if you know somebody of Native American heritage or tradition or knowledge if there is any oral traditions or familial legends or traditions about <coughs> being in these buildings or these buildings pre-existing and then being corralled or kicked out or if these like crisis actors came in and pretended to be you pretended to be Native Americans for photo ops and stories and tales of savagery and whatever I'm just curious if there's anything like that any untold unheard of histories about it that would be salient points and pertinent pieces of information of interest let me know you can email me at uapchannel2 at gmail.com that's u-a-p-c-h-a-n-n-e-l the number two at gmail.com why am I not UAP channel or UAP channel one I don't know somebody took it somebody took that before I came along but I am the original oh what's this is this a hangin we do got ourselves a hangins here we have some entertainment for all the men in the top hats we are hanging little six and medicine bottle early photographs of Minneapolis and vicinity yes this is how civilization appears when civilization comes, this is what it looks like. You have spread the smallpox. You, we're going to hang you because you did not get 
the jab. You did not wear the dirty dapper on your face. We're going to hang you for safety. For your own safety, we're going to hang you. Now you're missing. Now you're still missing. You're still missing. And you're still missing. And we, hang, we hanged a lot of people for safety. Iron Maiden Rock. Lake Peppa. Lake Peepin. Lake Peepin. Early photographs of men. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing over and over again. <laughs> maiden Rock. Is it actually a maiden? Well, after it's defaced, see all that rubble around there? That's probably where it came from. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at this building. Did these assholes build that? I don't know. I don't think so. Me thinks these assholes didn't build it. No. Oh, no. Oops. How can that be? Let's go back. Is this a barber pole? Look at the, look at the size. I mean, you got to zoom in to really appreciate some of these things. The size of that doorway, boy. Let's get a better zoom on it. Look. Okay. See that behind the horse? Behind the horse's ass stands or walks somebody who could also be a horse's ass. But that horse's ass does not need a doorway that freaking big to go into that building. <laughs> Even the horse. The horse could get up on its hind legs and rear up and go up the steps in and walk into that building through that gigantic doorway, which has a lowered threshold, by the way. And nay, nay, and get in and not even come close to the top, touching the top of that threshold. Why would it have to be that big? It's a hatter. Boy, they must sell tall hats there. It's a hatter and a furrier. Yep. Hats and furs, that's how you finance structures of such grandiose scale. And by the way, you gotta have a whole lower level and windows and then have the dirt pushed away and a put up an iron, wrought iron fence to keep people from falling into the pit. The pit of despair. And in the distance, ooh, we have a little glimpse of some building there. It says Le Cour. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now there's a nice little building there on the side. But I wanted to see, oh yes, that antenna, boy. There are the round capacitors on the pole. That's for collecting atmospheric energy. It certainly is not a flagpole. A flagpole would not be necessary there. It wouldn't be helpful anyway. What else we got? Chop. So we looked at that. Now these would be harder to fake, but look at that big pile of mud. Is that all the mud they pushed out when they unearthed the town, excavated it? That would, looks like that would have been a lot of work, boy. Could be a natural foundation, I don't know. Missing, missing, missing. All right, now I have the last vestiges of a Jolly Rancher in my mouth, so I apologize for that. But it's such sweet goodness, I cannot continue uh, without enjoying it. And I just don't want to wait any longer to start this. So, okay. All right, so you got these big buildings. They look old in this. And certainly, you've got yourself here some Niller Skies. Is it the utility pole in the foreground? Uh, the buildings, maybe some of these buildings are not supposed to be there. Maybe we could zoom in and see what they really are back there. Maybe the mud floodiness of it is too obvious. Oh, I don't know. The world may never know. Maybe that's a photoshopped giant. Or not photoshopped, but a scrubbed giant, you know. Kind of looks blocky. It looks like a Roblox guy 
or like a Minecraft person or something. <laughs> and a whole bunch of missing. 1880 balloon. Interesting. These things be like, oh, 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 I know why. I turn on my Wi-Fi. I just didn't want the anything to interfere with the recording. I better just stop it just to be sure. Just to be sure. Okay, I, I opted for another Jolly Rancher. Artificial grape is the best. Best. <laughs> but I can't talk. It's almost done, though. It's almost gone, but my patience just wears thin. I'm, I'm going to start recording even whilst the Jolly Rancher has yet still some vestiges hanging in, around. So, okay. But I can zoom in now. And... Uh, I looked at this and I thought, you know, they really stage these photos well. They have these, they're fronting, I believe. They're fronting with these shim shacky shanty, the wooden, bull crappy movie set fronts. And then the real buildings, you know, are in the background. Way oversized, overbuilt for what they would need and the streets are muddy and they and then what's going on here well it says they're returning from some or that some ex exposition uh, expedition expedition they're returning from it or something uh, I don't know but it, to me it looks like the 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 Populate. It's like a prison bus coming in, you know, with fresh, fresh new prisoners, you know. Fresh fish. I don't know why they call them fish. Hey, fish. You know, fresh meat. Fresh meat. And here they come. They're going to populate the town. <coughs> Welcome to the jungle, baby. <coughs> Ooh, fresh meat. Fresh fish. Come here. Look here, fish. I'm betting money which one's going to break first, you know, and all that crap. <laughs> but they have a dentist. And these letters don't, it doesn't really look angled. It looks fake. You know, it's pasted on. It should be, it should be at more of an angle. The, the letters should be, You know, it's reading kind of across. And then they have street signs, really. Interesting, though. One G.W. Hale Dry Goods. Oh, do you have a... Can I get an apple? No, that would be wet. We only do dry. You have dried apples? Yeah, well, you know, we could do that. Yeah, we can do that because we just do dry goods. Um, do you have those little packs that, you know, you throw in silica, silica, silicate or something and for shipping FedEx or UPS, whatever, and keeps it fresh and dry. Yeah, we do that. Uh, like I said, we have dry goods. Hmm. Do you have any comedy, like comedy recordings? Well, we do, but it's only dry humor. Okay. Yeah, we don't. I don't do the other kind. Do you have many movies? Yeah. We have movies about deserts. That's that's the dry goods, you know. Uh, do you have, well, the, like, do you have Disney movies? Yeah, we have some. We have The Prince of Egypt. Do you have The Little Mermaid? No, no, get, get out of my store. Get out, now. Get you, oh, don't you ever come back. That's that's what it's like visiting a dry goods store. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know how many of these there of these there are, but oh, okay, we're at a good pace here, because I like to riff on some comedy sometimes, so uh, I don't feel the need to rush anymore. Well, I think some people just don't connect. Some people are aloof 
Is that an L or is it an I? I oof. Look at this dormer thing or this whatever it is. I it's, and it's bricked in. Like why would you build that to say Union Block? I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to make sense of what we're seeing here. Like this. Okay, that makes sense. That's a oh chimney thing. Oops. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I see reflections here. I'm. I swear, one of these days I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna catch him. I have a few times, kind of, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna find something good because I have a secret method which I'm gonna share. Uh, which I already did if you have half of a brain but yeah the window reflections they are gonna foul it up somebody somewhere fouled it up with their censorship and they they forgot about the reflection and I'm gonna catch them I'm gonna find the photo it has to be high def probably but maybe not maybe if it's enough windows and I'm gonna look in there and I'm gonna recognize what it is and I'm gonna catch them Get ya! Arr. I snarled. Yes, indeed. So, McFarlane Turd Company. I saw this here. The uh, what the heck? It looks like a dude's hanging by his hands there. What in tarnation? Am I seeing things? Or is that like a, just a wreath? Looks like a guy with a white coat on and a... It's, it's like Doc! From Back to the Future! Because of the white hair and the... Looks like a guy with black gloves. Alright, so you look at it from a distance and it looks like... It could be somebody falling like you know because it's a longer exposure but it definitely looks like like a guy is hanging there you know how the there's motion blur and so I'm looking around and I'm seeing um, really no other people I just see horses and it could just be that the people are exposured out or whatever and maybe they're doing some kind of a stunt or something there but it just kind of goes along with the whole thing as being like a movie set. I mean, really, literally, it just, it, to me, it does look like there's a dude hanging from the window on gloves. Or wearing gloves. He's got white cuffs. He's got a dark coat. And he lost his grip because of the lightning strike or whatever. And he went back to the future. And then beneath him is a blur. So I I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting though, isn't it? But at what I was looking at originally here. I mean, that is primarily what's interesting now about it. Doc. Doc! Uh, but these file cabinets. And they're all dilapidated. It looks like they've... looks like they're old and ancient like rain soaked these old records maybe these are all the <laughs> all the plans all the blueprints for all the buildings that were built that we never ever 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 saw blueprints for but it sure is interesting i do declare and yeah and then again you know you see these the doorway entrances to the buildings are exactly windows you know it's like uh, you sure you planned it that way? To have your, you know, have windows and have that be your door? Yeah. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Oh, wow. Here's a higher def version. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. Okay, this clock. We'll look at Doc in a minute here, but let's look at this clock. Okay, it's a 12 hour. And, yeah, I was going to guess. I was going to say it we're at 4.30, but this is more like almost 5 o'clock. They used to take pictures in the afternoons. What does it... Oh, cool. I didn't know I could do that. Uh, okay. 
Huh. I think I'm just seeing things now. That doesn't... I mean, it could be because of motion blur, but... I don't know. I think maybe, it, maybe those are just flags or something. And it's interesting with those file cabinets. What the heck are those? The old records. Take those old records off the shelf. Yeah. Oh, if I could see the information in those from the previous sieve. Or, I mean, they look like file cabinets, you know, document storage, but boy, are they like rain soaked, fire damaged, whatever. They've been around. They look pretty large, too. Could be for tall folk. Hmm, okay. Is there something in this window? Oh, wow, that, that reflection denotes something more like castle like. And there's. Looks like orphans in the window. How much for that orphan in the window? Now there's another figure there. It looks like clothes. Clothes. Hmm. Fascinating, I tell you. Oh, there's a cigar store engine. Because they had to indoctrinate people. Now, would you really do that if, if you were battling and fighting and wresting control of the land from the engines would you have a wooden engine as your choice uh lawn ornament type thing like i don't think so but of course we know that, Ooh, wow you can really see something here you can see how this is a facade look at this look at that it's just plywood just pushed against the edge it's just fake I mean you can see the masonry and let's see if I can just like zoom yeah you can see the masonry and then the plywood's just like built up against it and one thing looks older than the other don't you agree I think so definitely Definitely. Now, the reflections are starting to tell something more of a story. And those look like almost like. Oh, it's too hard to tell. Too bad, dang. Hmm. It would take some. It would take some real effort to get. To form an image with any amount of confidence out of those reflections but maybe some of you have some ideas I mean those kind of look like barrels or something like a pot it looks like it could be a big pile of mud oh this could be like dynamite barrels maybe they're demoing the buildings across the street I don't know but yeah that facade looks so much newer than the building that it's covering up and the upper floor, like the way the windows are, hmm, is that light coming through it or is it reflecting? It's hard to say. I mean, obviously it looks like reflection, but wouldn't some light be coming through? Like, does the building have a rooftop? I assume so, but what would it be, a flat top roof? Because those are not, if, if you are designing a building and you're making a roof especially back then I would think you would want a pitched roof because uh, if you've ever owned a home or worked in a place that has a flat top roof they suck they suck they leak man I'm telling you what they leak like nothing I mean just leak man oh wow this one oh, this is the money shot here man the money shot. Look, second. The second. Oh, I, I wanted to cover where the last one was, just in case I want to go there. Union Block Bridge Square, 1867. Bridge Square was between 1st Street and 2nd Street. Okay. 
It's a postcard. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're looking. This is man, this is great. Of course, raised. Oh, 1884. It was raised. What? Okay, the second Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad Depot. The second one. What was wrong with the first one? Well, we'll figure that out later. Uh, built circa or opened or unveiled or fat or whatever, circa 1876. And that was raised in 1884. Because look at it. It's just so shitty. It's just so temporary. It was only used for... Are you shitting me? 11 years? No. Okay, four. Eight years. Eight? What? 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 Eight years. Oh, you have got to be kidding me somebody I, I just okay if this were a conference room and this was information being presented to me the official narrative and I was being uh, lampooned for my position that that I found this whole project of convincing me and the rest of the board that the um, history is thus as presented here i would at this point smack my hand down at the table and i would get up and i would just kind of walk out of the conference room not to be theatrical but to just express well okay maybe to be a little fucking theatrical because you you are insulting me if you're coming here and you're telling me that this is what I'm supposed to believe. You are insulting my intelligence, and I take offense to it. I take offense to it. And if the other members of the board don't agree with me, they should be ashamed of themselves, because I, for one, am not going to be condescended and insulted in this way. They need to get out of here with that stuff. Don't you dare come back and tell me something so nonsensical. Or you better have the most unbelievably solid explanation as to why. And, and that, that would be if this was the first Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad Depot. And, and it, you guys tore it down in 1884, but you're not even sure if it was built in 1876 or is it just are you saying it's photographed in 1876 so it was built long before 1876 I mean if you're just saying you photographed it then when was it built I want to know why would it be torn down in 1884 it, it do doesn't look like it's a problem it looks kind of old, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> and look at all that technology up there. I mean, we know now. We know. They have electricity running to it. This was for probably electric trains, you know. Okay, so now we're going to have a closer look. Yeah. So I see electric trams indeed. And lines over the street. So there were electric trains as per usual, as expected. Uh, this wire thing coming up, it looked like, I guess it's timber. It looks like it's maybe bound together or metal straps and guide wires going up to this utility pole. I mean, it's, it's amazing. They have these utility poles that are similar to modern day with a lot of wires too. I mean, look at that, those telegraph lines or whatever. They have electric trams, which we you know it's 2020 and we're no closer than we were in 2019 because of cuckoo uh to to getting back to the level of having a reliable clean public transportation of electrical trains and trams through the cities that are interconnected so that you don't have to taxi you don't have to uber you don't have to buy a car you don't have to ride a bicycle really far it's climate controlled da 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 no, no, we had it, but we lost it. 
we we destroyed that technology yeah hmm wow okay I mean the horses and buggies the black I mean give me a break the b black buggies it's just so typical I mean look at the wheels of this thing it, is that even uh, aligned and balanced or is it cockeyed I don't know maybe it's like, what is this like the equivalent of the Ford Pinto or something of the day but the masonry is spectacular in this building I mean this one's actually oh no it's going below ground level isn't it there <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes now over here I saw is that a train or something yeah steam so the long the long haulers they were steam I don't know that they were necessarily coal fire power you know coal fired I I I would question that but locally they certainly did use electricity which they gathered they didn't answer they gathered it right you know right there that's what this stuff's all about that's not a railing to keep you from falling off that's doing the same thing that this is doing right here and yeah some of it might be to keep birds off but why is it flat top then and they got all these things running along which also could be to keep ice from sliding off I mean I can buy that but we know enough now with these um, when you see the circular like the spherical balls on these things a lot of times you know those are the capacitors and we know for sure what those are doing and again with the bricks how many bricks are in this building a lot maybe a hundred thousand I don't know a lot of bricks and it's got looks like it's been kind of well those are shadows maybe I don't know but it's quite well constructed and of course built at a scale that would be conducive and comfortable for giants and then the signs are never as permanent as the building itself they say it was built for this purpose that looks like that's like blurred out there's no reason that that couldn't be legible it also looks backwards that looks backwards to me whereas this is not passenger station Chicago Milwaukee and st. Paul uh-huh okay yeah second floor would be offices the the reason for the tower observation I don't know and then the thing at the top communication and powering the telegraph wires so I think they had lighting that they powered I think they had radios they powered and I think they had so they had like radios for like short range they probably used short wave and communicated long distances and then they also used the telegraph and the telegraph could have been much more than Morse code I think it may have been data it may have been uh, it may have been something like who knows and it may if not data it could have been like internet just like coded type stuff that would have to be decoded Could have been digital photographs i i looked at digital photographs they went way back i found evidence of digital photography radio transmitted back i think it was in the late 1930s there were images it was at least it was the in the 1950s for sure but i think it was a couple decades before that they were doing that and that's that was universities i think it was it, i'm not even talking about the secret military whatever stuff so okay these people are teeny tiny those curbs are big sidewalks thick boy and the roads muddy and yes they have electric trams a transformer box there huh? transformers 
more than meets the eye. All right, another huge building back there. What's that excuse? What's the excuse for that one? No one knows, no one knows. Okay, moving on. Interesting. Oh, what are they trying to hide here? What's going on there? There's a sticky Audi. What's it doing? What? <laughs> uh, they could do a better job at Photoshop. Look at that. <laughs> Get out of here with that. What? Oh, okay. It's supposed to be... What is it? A white board? It's going to be an advertisement or something they painted? I guess, maybe. Huh. Or the facade. I think it's a facade. Hmm. It's like... Curious. The, the vanilla sky kind of crept in there. Like... Okay, they got their vanilla sky going. They... They took off the things to make this the the spheres that are capacitors for the atmospheric energy collection poles they took the spheres off to make this look like a flagpole so they're going along with their vanilla sky and then they just kept going like, oh well okay we're just gonna make a rectangle out of this yeah put a shadow in there maybe Maybe it's actually like that, but I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Just like this it looks dubious to me. It goes across just there, but not anywhere else. Yeah, because the vanilla sky left that, but when they were coloring between the lines or whatever, they colored in too much. Yeah, yeah. How's the vanilla? Oops. Whoa. How's the vanilla sky working over here? So there's definitely atmospheric energy, electrical message there. And in the distance, you see things are quite built up. And the Niller sky has gone down and covered most of it up. You have these poles going along. Looks like utility poles in a line to carry wires. But then as it gets closer to the camera, is it carrying wires? Yeah, I see some. Okay. Oops. Yeah. So the wires go along there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that looks like an old original sign. The... something doctors oh, oh lord the quarantine doctors oh shit sorry the quarantine doctors come oh what does that say come get jabbed for free <laughs> no or wait does it say quarantine what does it say Quarantee. Guarantee. Oh, it could be guarantee. Is it a G? Or Q? Oh, man. And that's, I could tell right away that was an old sign. Like an old, more original sign. There's an electric. That's a, a electric arc light right there for sure. Now that looks like an S almost, but it's got to be, it's got to be a G. What's this say? Blood letting? I don't know. Man, it's hard to, oops. All right, let's. bronchitis come get your teeth pulled out for free come let us make medical mistakes to cause malpractice premiums to rise 
We guarantee. Huh. Junius Brutus cigars. Hmm. What is that? What is the image here? JB. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I could spend all kinds of time. There's our trolley. And people are dressed like frickin' witches and funeral home directors. Like some silly. All right, I'm racing to the finish now. Okay, so this is a Shriners building. And it's a lot of stories. It seems like it's a little squashed, like for we folk like us. So it's probably newer-ish. But I wanted to point out the sigil-type tops to that. So then that was that. So then the next one, Arts Group Theater buys it for a bunch of money. This is from 77. Yeah. So, okay. Then, oh, they said they were going to turn it into a theater or like an opera house type thing, but it's like, like they didn't have an opera house. They did. They had this huge Mike Pence opera house. Uh, it's got one freaky side to it. <laughs> one freaky eye to it. No. Uh, but it does have a Rothschild's whatever that is. Um, law office? Yeah. Okay. Man, the people have been around so long. But the immense scale of it, and then like, what is this railing for? Well, it looks like there's a lower section because the windows and everything go underground. Because this thing was it's buried in mud. Buried in mud almost for sure so then the next photo wait what is that spirally thing there like what are those things i don't know but okay i didn't get much out of this this has been they they niller skied this one like solid that's like very pure white vanilla there uh but then this one this is like a definite like reset photo like they showed up look at the street what is this crap all over the street they're still digging it out from the mud and um because we saw the other photos of the streets the streets are all brick it looks like they tore off layers of bricks maybe and you know because they had the maybe they had to like to dig it out like dig down, pull up the streets from underneath, and then uh, because there was so much mud, you know, reclaimed some bricks from the buildings. Oh, no, these are broken bricks. Now, okay, this is very, very telling. There are broken bricks all over, mostly where the camera is, because, if you would ask me, also because the way the sun is shining all over the road this on this side, if you were to go behind and to the left of the cameraman's shot in the area you can't see, you know, over here, just beyond the frame, if you could turn maybe another 45, maybe 60 degrees, you'd see that they blew up a building. Now, why do I say blew up? Because you see over here, look, those kegs, those are probably powder kegs of gunpowder dynamite. And they blew up. I think they blew up the buildings, you know, like they do. But this is like early on. So what year is this? That's supposed to be 1873. Okay, so, you know, they can do it right in front of everybody. Nobody suspects a thing of what they're doing anyway, because they just make up a reason. Uh, the owner's neurotic. He's he's eccentric, and he I know he he just built it, and it looks old. He meant for it to look old, and now he doesn't like it because he changed his mind. He's going to blow it up. So we're coming with barrels. We're going to control demolition this thing. You know, they'll say, oh, it's some <laughs> some Indians flew kites into it and, and it <laughs> and brought it down. <laughs> you saw it. Everybody saw it. Well, I didn't see the kite. Right. Yes, you did. We saw it. It's in the newspaper. Everybody saw the kites. They 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 angled their their engine kites into the building and boom, and it just blasted out and the broken bricks are flung everywhere like even here on this thing there's maybe pieces of broken bricks and stuff just still on this on this uh, ver uh what do you call it 
veranda or whatever canopy whatever it is yeah probably broken windows yes yes oh i predicted it yes oh boy i'm getting good i'm really good i know they they dynamite blasted the buildings controlled them and they blew them up and it flung broken pieces of bricks everywhere from the blasts and those pieces of brick they broke the window and then the chunks of the broken bricks are on this canopy all right maybe oh and then here they we whitewashed it out so you can't see it but it looks like there's one there piece yeah oh boy yeah they they did a number I tell you what I can tell what they're doing I got my eyes on you all right so now oh there's one Jensen ladies furnishing store okay so so that's that all right that's a good one I think I nailed that one pretty good pretty good yes now we're moving on trying to blast through these quickly okay so this one was curious I find it curious I don't know what got whitewashed over here, like they're hiding something there. Oops. Uh wagon. Well, it could just be motion blur. But here every single person almost has one of these straw hats, you know? Like for a phony election back in the day. And these buildings are magnificent. And you have I don't know what like everyone's looking at this and I don't even want to guess that's going on there I don't even want to guess I don't know and uh, I was amazed seeing people look out the window way up here look at that I mean that's how huge this is man that's a huge huge buildings <laughs> huge they have stuff like that in Cleveland and yeah look at the huge crowds yeah yeah, yeah. interesting interesting there's somebody up there what are they doing it's bopping around up there, hanging out, printing, whatever. And then this, like, what is this? It's like a see-through clock or something. It's kind of cool in a way, but I just, I don't know what it is. But I'm going to find out, I tell you what, boy. Yeah, and they're, they're just, you come here to get coal. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just want to spend too, too much time. Uh, yeah, and that, so the streets are fully cleared off, but yeah, they're bricked and cobblestoned. It's amazing. Really nice. Look at the brickwork on that. I mean, you just, you try and do that today. I mean, it's doable. I'm sure it is. But look, the level goes below the street again. And these are the types of buildings that are just blowing up with barrels of whatever. Are you going to build a building like this and then have a sign like that? I don't think so. That's a bunch of hwas manure. You can get out of here. You're covering up windows. Give me a break. You wouldn't do that. Creep. What's this say? All twisty, turny letters. This looks like post 1900. Oh, it is 1900. Okay. I'm getting good. I tell you what. Okay. But, yeah, you know, it's getting to be more contemporary. Yeah. Oh, there's an electric art lamp for sure for sure i made a video about electric arc lamps and i never published it and i lost it i just gotta publish crap i make that looks like a sled but i don't know is it like would you really go so far as to have a sled like i guess i mean it's minnesota it's snowy one horse open sleigh oh look at that electric arc lamp you can see it up close awesome Wow, this is a valuable photo. Look at that. It has a carbon filament, and then there's a gap, and then it just electric powers, and, and it arcs, and it makes a neat hum sound. That's the two-wire system, cathode, anode, and I believe it's, it's atmospherically powered. That's what's going on up here. That's what that mast pole antenna is that's why you got wires running all over the place they didn't nil or sky this one as much you got these uh, manifolds or hubs where they route the telegraph wires sure but also the atmospheric electricity through 
but this is incredible. So uh, this, congratulations to this cameraman. If it wasn't Edward A. Bromley, whoever it was, somebody actually decided to friggin' document something of value here. Of course, these guys, you gotta give them credit. They, they leave in Easter eggs. And like this reflection. Look at the giant houses in that reflection, if that's what those are. They look like big A-frame like mansions, huge. Fantastic. Oh, this video is a good one. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not quite over yet, but we're getting there. Wow, there's the old ladder lean. Yes, we can't we can't finish without first covering ye old ladder lean. Our good friend, our old friend, ye old ladder lean. You got organs, you got pianos. You got them all coming out your wazoo. This looks like a Merry Christmas time. 1895. Yes, showing a Thompson or a Thompson? No. Thompson Houston arc lamp in the near foreground together with its mast arm. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, fantastic. I love it. It gives me this Christmassy feeling, which is a good feeling. Yes, I know the holiday is not all that it's cracked up to be, but hey. Why is half the sign backwards? Cold seal rubber coos. Coos. Goods, probably. All right. Moving on, moving on. Oh, old world. Defo. Old world. Corner Nicolette Avenue and 5th Street, 1901, Minneapolis, Minnesota, collected and compiled by, oh, by whomever. You got a manhole cover. Look at these streets. Yes, I'm talking fast. This isn't sped up. I'm sped up. I'm sped up with Jolly Rancher sugar high energy. Uh, yeah, you got that up there. But this is of interest here, these sculptures. What is she sitting on? What is that? Huh, I don't know, but there's like Lady Liberty. That's a woman. It's an actual woman, like attractive. Like most guys would say, yeah, I'd throw a shot in. <laughs> Sorry for the vulgarity. Ooh, her bosom's hanging out. And that's quite nice, honestly, to just be frank and open. I'm always honest, but I'm not always open, but I'm being open. I like, I like, I like how that looks. I like the female form. I just, I just Whatever, I mean, what do, you, what do you just expect? Whatever, I don't know. Just the way it is, deal with it. I, I like a lot. And, but hey, and, and she's also, not only is actually a woman, but yeah, she has slender arms and everything, unlike the Statue of Liberty, and also unlike the Statue of Liberty. Well, like the Statue of Liberty, she's holding something up in both hands in this case. But in neither of those hands is she holding an upside-down penis. Can't say the same for so-called, quote, Lady Liberty. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but this, that's an old world building for sure. For sure. And you have gargoyle type things and all kinds of atmospheric electricity. And you have this huge archway entrance and it's like, partially buried? I don't know. Yeah, it's been around for a while. It's very old. Wait, there was somebody in the window there. Is that like a mannequin? E. just want to see. Is it a mannequin or a woman akin? Or, I don't know. Ah, they, they still, it's 1901. They still dressed like frickin' welcome to the funeral squad or whatever. You know, they love their dentists and doctors. Give me a break. Okay, moving on. We're almost there. What's going on here? Niller skies. That's photoshopped out of, out of sight, out of mind. Everything's wiped out. Uh, heck, the horizon. You can see. I guess the high horizon would be just below that line, maybe. But yeah, it's totally flat land with no trees, buildings. Yeah, right. They're hiding stuff. And they're, yeah, look, they're just they're moving people in still. Come one, come all. Give me your tired, your poor, your free, your enslaved, your 
brainwashed, you're old world, bohemians, displaced, refugees, da 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 da. Is that what it says? I don't know. And oh yeah, you can just see how quickly, like in one decade from like 1900 to, or ni 1898 to like 1908, in those 10 years, they're allowed to increase the quality of the photos again. Because you see this in like the 1860s and 70s, you see these super high quality, high def photos. Uh, and the remaining architecture, you can see more vividly how spectacular it is. But much has been destroyed by this point. And uh, it's too bad. They still got the horse and buggy going. The, the curbs, the, the, you never see them really building those. The sidewalks, I mean, in my neighborhood, they're still putting in sidewalks, and, and it's 2020. Of course, everything's going to go backwards for about 20 years now because of the cuckoo pretend. But you're lucky if you have structures, and I mean, that's like, that is lush, man. Perfect. This clean, straight lines, curves, and they got it going on. These horse and buggy people, man. These buildings, they've got, they got it worked out, and the and the trees are more mature here. And we're almost there. Just flash through here. You got lamps. It's getting to be more contemporary anyway. They still got horses going around 1905. The, the brick streets. It's actually more cobblestone. You see the, uh, the, the lines. These buildings look newer though. Maybe not completely. That that's no flagpole. That's no moon. That's no flagpole. And we've seen this building before. That's the same photo even. Oh, bring in the orphans. Newsboys parade. Yeah, well, here's the news. Here is the news. The controllers brought in orphans. What happened to the parents? No one knows. Well, you probably don't want to know. Maybe a virus or something, huh? Well, they in 18 years they're gonna pull that shenanigan again. Probably wipe out some people with that. And they bring in the the childs. They bring them in. George W. Bush's childs brigade come, brought in on the rails because they're railroaded, out out of one town into another. The orphans come, and thankfully many of the orphans that you hear from that you know it's it's survivorship bias though but the ones that did survive they they oftentimes seem to have somewhat prospered you know from humble beginnings and that's good because they they have to maintain some kind of semblance of uh, society and order even though they're systematically destroying everything yeah 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 well aren't you glad we dug into some Oldie potatoes. But I thought this Capitol building was number one, very impressive as far as the mud flutter buildings go, but number two, the story behind it is fantastical. And what you're looking at here is a rebuilt one. There is an older one that is more impressive and original in my opinion though it's not supposed to be the older one I think it is I think all these buildings were already there this one especially and the story behind how they flip-flopped around is interesting they'd like you to think that the it's the type of building that they had when actually they had things like this now this is in Ohio but we know that we know better. It would make sense if they started off small like that. And somebody did, but not us. <laughs> okay. If you would ask me, I think they're pretty bold how they take pictures of themselves rolling into town or the people rolling into town and seeing it for the first time after it's been prepped. Okay, let's read the official narrative. Uh, an image shows the crowd gathered for the laying of the cornerstone. You've ever been in a crowd in it? Have you ever gathered around for the laying of a cornerstone? I haven't. Um, and then it has Ramsey, like Ramesses, you know, <laughs> who recommended exterminating Native Americans. 
Hello, Governor. I beg your pardon? I... I... beg your pardon. Was the state's first territorial governor second state governor and became the longest serving U.S. Senator and a Secretary of War. And what else do we know about him? Well, when he laid the cornerstone, it contains a Bible. A Bible. And what along with the Bible? A newspaper with fake news. And what else? A printed history of Minnesota, of fake history, and several copper plates with engravings of fake memorable events that would be memorable if they were real and then the the name of the architect and his assistants quote assistants yeah right as if they had anything to do with it minneapolis and saint paul <laughs> saint paul so okay and so they they're redoing this building but why i don't know well we talked about that in the other video but look what was the first thing that they did when they gathered in the first legislative session well, well, I guess it's only the first legislative session in the new building after the other one burned down. Uh, the first le legislative session, it was a law forbidding the sale of cocaine. Yes, that's right. They have to forbid the sale of cocaine. So, okay. But, uh, all right. Whatever, guys. They transferred flags. The Civil War vets did it. And there's a lot of talk about whether it was controlled by Republicans or Democrats, as if it really made a difference. I don't know. I guess, I guess maybe to a certain extent, but not much. Cass Gilbert was 34 when he was hired for the job. Would you hire a 34-year-old architect to do something that important? I mean, look, realistically, maybe you would hire a firm that employs maybe a, maybe a 34-year-old architect, but for them to put, to try to stick you with one as the sole person on the job without even a mentor or something, hell no, you would be up in arms. Say, what the, what are you trying to do? We're paying you good money trying to stick me with some kid? Now, I realize, you know, when I was 34, not that long ago, I was thinking that I could do stuff like that, and I probably could, but then, then, you get, you learn a few more things in the next maybe five years. When you approach 40, then professionally, you really, really start to maximize. So if it's an important project, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, not, not to discount, not to discount talent and everything. I mean, I did a great job when I was that age, but uh, I didn't have the, the certitude required to command large groups of people with confidence. Even if I was right, I didn't have the experience to, to have certitude that could be backed up. Certitude that comes only with experience. And I hate the fact that you have to have experience to get the job, to use the experience to do the job. How do you do it? It's a chicken egg thing. Well, that's where you have to be mentored or you have to be in a firm. You work as a team and all that bullshit that I hated because I'm very independent. But yeah, anyway, let's be realistic here about this stuff, you know. I just find it odd. Now this bridge was interesting because it's metal. Oh, and they always switch. There are fires, lobbying, demonstrations, restorations, destructions. It's just a big old mess. The capital is rife with symbolism. Yeah, that's right. Of course it is. Who built our capital? <laughs> they... they pretend that they can answer that question but really they can't they can't even say why they made their stairways so high <laughs> all right so this is the part two from the minnesota thing i did in i think mid to late june so <laughs> look at this before the party some history on how minnesota state capitals there have been three got here it involves 
fires, lobbying, demonstrations, restorations, destructions, and lots of lots of politics. Wow. And they held their first meetings in a log cabin hotel in St. Saul in 1849. In 1853, first state capitol buildings, building opens, okay. And then in 1865, the initial design was gracefully huh, uh, simple. It was modified considerably over the next 15 years until it became virtually unrecognizable. Well, what the heck's going on? Do these guys, are they the worst planners in the world? And these are the guys leading your state? These are the best of the best, the cream of the crop, and they couldn't even, they couldn't manage their way out of a cardboard box. They couldn't even manage their way into a cardboard box. In fact, they built their own state capitals. Like, did they think the state capital wasn't going to be used 20 years later? Like, the state wouldn't have a capital, wouldn't need the building? They built it just in a log cabin temporary? What the heck? Well, that would make some sense, but you don't see that, actually. Because they go, they want you, they want you to believe they went from the log cabin to friggin' something rivaling what was in the Washington DC mall. I don't know why they call it a mall, but it's just DC, the, the stuff there, it's just like the exposition, you know, the layout, the buildings, the way it is, the way it looks, it's exactly like an exposition, white city, as it were. There were a lot of these things. That's you ever, you know, it doesn't really make sense how the states were organized. It would make more sense if it was like feudal, like Europe through the Middle Ages, so-called, whatever that was before that, probably. And I think that's how the states were organized. It's just that somehow everybody went away. And then all the state capitals and buildings, I think a lot of them were already there, and they were already organized into these zones that's why we because there's no real rhyme or reason that would make sense as to why the states would be divvied up the way they are it's always been one country but yeah <laughs> what a cockamamie story cockamamie story all right so that's it i hope you enjoyed minnesota minnesota i promised to do the second part all the way back in like I said, mid to late June when I aired the first part on UAP channel, which is the second channel, kind of the backup channel, I guess, when the main channel was, uh, hmm, I was, wasn't sure about it, What if I wanted to make more videos and put more videos on there because that just gives you more exposure. And I want to keep the videos I make up Yet, every once in a while, out of the blue, I'll get some kind of, I don't know, unwanted attention or something. And I don't want that. I don't mean to have that. I don't need to have that. Because I love all your comments and everything. I want them to stay. I don't want them to go. It hurts when they go away, when the videos go away, when the comments go away and everything. And you never get it back. But you got me now. Enjoy, I got you, I got you big. Now, this is the end of Minnesota 2, and there isn't gonna be a part three as far as I know. Minneapolis, Minnesota has been covered by UAP. That is done, and I am out of here, goodbye.